I'm all out of whack today, folks. Julius Randle got hurt in the Knicks game yesterday. Hulk Hogan didn't appear at the Royal Rumble, although they teased that he was going to be there, potentially entering. I've got one more left in me, brother. What was up with that? I'm not wearing a hat because sometimes I need to remind people that, hey, I'm not bald, you dumb trolls. I just like wearing hats. But we actually have a story worth talking about today. I had a few people send this over. My editor also sent it over. It's a little late in the day, but whatever. Better late than never. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to, well, appease my pain and suffering from yesterday's events. And let's just take a look at this story. So this is coming to us from Joe Reggie It, IT. Um, look at his profile here. He's a train man. Okay, choo-choo, you know, I like traveling the rails. And he found that Nintendo trademarks were filed this week in the UK. And when you look at these things, well, they look pretty familiar. They look like a certain controller from a certain generation of Nintendo consoles. I, of course, am talking about the GameCube. We have a couple different classifications here with figurative as all of them. And you can see we have a uh, GameCube controller outline, the buttons of the GameCube controller C-Stick, A and B, and then we have sort of of this weird you know uh outline of the system and you know the gamecube is something that it's an interesting console for nintendo because it was it was a little bit you know ahead of things like the ps2 in terms of visual fidelity you had stuff like 480p mode on some of these games which still looks absolutely gorgeous today if you're able to take that image and upscale it into a higher resolution image but you know, when you look at Nintendo Switch Online, I feel like GameCube is a console that a lot of people want. You have stuff like the N64, you have stuff like the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, NES. Like, that's all good stuff, and that's all stuff that people appreciate. But when you're talking about potentially the future of Nintendo Switch Online, obviously this service is going to be carried over onto the next Nintendo platform so if you have just sort of the same games that are available in the same consoles like that that's a little bit weird to me you know i feel like you need to add in some incentive for people to want to either get a nintendo switch online account if they haven't already or for them to upgrade their account to the you know the premium expansion version of it that comes with all the games and i feel like gamecube could be a very good way to get people to do that we'll talk a little bit about how nintendo tends to handle GameCube games, but upon first inspection, I mean, there's a bunch of different things you could think. You could think, well, you know, this is absolutely nothing. You know, they're just they're just protecting their IP. They're just protecting whatever. But I found this from Ray Rayland. Um, very interesting. So when you look at at the outlines here, and you look at sort of the images used here. Well, they look a lot like these. Like, these are the same kind of outlines. These are the same kind of images that Nintendo themselves use within their NSO services. So things become, you know, things become a little bit interesting here. Now, I feel like there's a couple different things that we could take away from this. And we kind of got to go from most realistic to most unrealistic with this. The first and foremost thing is, well, this is absolutely nothing. It's just Nintendo protecting a trademark of their controller, reissuing the thing so someone doesn't come along and take it from them. Okay, you know, that's the most realistic option here. A second option could be Nintendo is re-releasing a GameCube controller to play with games that are applicable to it. When you think about, you know, what Nintendo is doing with software right now with Nintendo Switch Online, um, they're not messing with GameCube, but Nintendo is doing remasters of a lot of GameCube games. We, of course, have seen Metroid Prime remastered. We're getting a thousand year door remaster. They released Super Mario Sunshine with a, you know, in the 3D All Stars bundle for the Nintendo Switch as well. There's been heavy rumors about stuff like Metroid Prime 2 and Metroid Prime 3. You know, Smash Brothers, people like to use GameCube controllers. There are devices that you can use with your Switch that will allow you to use a GameCube controller, of course. And then, of course, you have, you know, Twilight Princess Wind Waker. You know, that's been heavily rumored to be coming to Nintendo Switch in some sort of capacity with, you know, in the HD versions that were available on something like the Wii. You, that's another possibility so i think with this push of gamecube games coming to the nintendo switch you know there there's a good reason to think that potentially 
Nintendo might want to re-release a GameCube controller for the system when they see that other companies are doing these controllers, either you know mimicking the GameCube or allowing devices to attach to your Switch to use a GameCube controller. But then there's the third option. Could this be something to do with Nintendo Switch Online. And I know what you're saying. Well, why would they do that? Why would they re-release these remastered games, but then put, you know, the vanilla games onto, you know, NSO if that's the case? They want people to buy these remastered games. And to that I say, I mean, just look at Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 was a part of that Nintendo or that Mario 3D All-Stars package it released they released the game on there and you know it was a slightly enhanced version some of the textures were redone and then they also really released the vanilla version of super mario 64 onto nintendo switch online so i think if you stagger the games like games that you don't plan on remastering or remaking and those are the games you put on there and then, you know, if you are doing a remaster or a remake, then maybe you put the vanilla version on there a little later. Like Super Mario Sunshine can go on there. A game like Star Fox Adventures, I, I don't see them really touching that or anything like that. That's a game that can go on there. But you just sort of hold off. You know, you could put Metroid Prime on there. You got Metroid Prime remastered that are already released for the Switch. So you're not really missing out on a, a whole lot. I feel like a vast majority of people who want the remastered edition of the game have already picked up the remastered edition of the game. Or they can look at both versions and be like, well, you know, I think I think the, the GameCube vanilla version is good enough for me. Or they could be like, you know, I want that remastered edition. I don't think there is really a definitive answer. More than likely... It's probably just protecting their IP, but I think just some of the images and the stuff that we saw in those other pictures, like maybe it is something more, you know, it's just a hypothesis. It's just, it's just a little bit of speculation, but you do have to imagine that Nintendo has to release other systems onto Nintendo Switch Online if they want to keep having people sign up for the service and keep the service because if the games aren't hitting on there, you know, if you stop at the N64, then have we seen everything? You know, you're starting to run out of N64 games that you could put on the software to begin with as far as quality titles are concerned, you know? So unless they're working on something with like Sega and some Dreamcast games, which I would absolutely love, like, I don't know. I thought it was an interesting topic though because you know, the timing of it and everything with, with you know, the rumors of the Switch 2 and all this sort of stuff. Like, the timing of it is very unique, I feel. So, maybe it's something, maybe it's nothing. But that's not for me to decide because I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think this is indicative of GameCube potentially coming to Nintendo Switch Online? Is this just a coincidence? Is this Nintendo just protecting their IP? Which we have seen them do before, so that is a very realistic possibility in this situation let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button like comment and share i'm going to wallow in my misery we still haven't even gotten an update on julius randall he like dislocated his shoulder and they're like oh we're doing an mri and then they haven't given any mri results how long is he going to be out is this going to affect our playoff push we're going to the eastern conference finals if julius randall is healthy mark my words you need to make a trade leon rose i'll 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 shut up now nobody wants to hear me talk about hoops and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later